On Friday, June 28, the Parliamentary Service Board received the architectural module for the proposed chamber designed by renowned Guinean architect David Frank Ajayi. The Speaker of Parliament, Professor Mike Okwe, stated that government is committed to the project and is already exploring external funding towards its execution. The Speaker added President Ekufado will be present to cut the sword for the project when the date is firmed up. But when was the decision hatched? Former President John Mahama first hinted of a feasibility study for the construction of a new chamber for parliament during the 2013 State of the Nation Address. We will this year commence a feasibility study for the construction of a new parliamentary chamber block on the premises of the State House. Vice President Dr. Mohamed Baumia in February 2017 confirmed government will consider constructing a new chamber for its legislative arm. Very important that the duties or the activities of parliament are not interrupted. I'm sure we will uh, look at this whole issue of another chamber very seriously. This decision has since become public and is being fiercely challenged. Member of Parliament for Ningo Pram Pram, Sam George, insists the project is a misplaced priority. If you took the 200 million and split it over 275 of us, that's about, about $850,000 per member of parliament. So if they have that money, let's use it to develop our constituencies. The constituents who sent us there deserve better and demand better. Information Minister Kojo Ponkroma, reacting to the move, said the executive arm of government has been kept in the dark on this one. Uh, from, from, from the executive perspective, I am not aware uh, that even the executive has been engaged on this kind of idea. Even within parliament itself, the parliamentary service board, uh, I think is yet to even engage members of parliament. Civil society organizations including African Center for Parliamentary Affairs, Pressure Group Occupy Ghana and the Center for Democratic Development, CDD Ghana, have all condemned the move. The head of the legislative desk of CDD, Regina Ofuiwa Manfu, says Parliament should immediately abort plans for the new chamber. I think they have to even abandon this decision. We don't need any physical infrastructure for Parliament now. I think it's too ambitious and it's a misplaced priority. She enumerated some issues CDD thinks must be prioritized, which includes giving parliamentarians the power to initiate legislative solution to public problems Instead, it being the preserve of the president. Executive, that's the president, has to appoint overwhelming majority of his ministers from parliament. And that weakens parliament. It makes parliament an annex to the executive. Again, as we speak, no member of parliament can initiate a private member's bill. And that is, for me, is a challenge. Others on social media were not left out as they also joined in registering their displeasure about the move. The hashtag, Drop That Chamber, was number two on the trend at the time of our checks on Thursday with over 4,000 people tweeting about it. Hashtag 2 million Ghanaians match is another hashtag in the trend on Twitter. Rashida Adams is a leading member of the social media campaign dubbed Drop That Chamber and maintains Parliament is being inconsiderate. There is no justifiable reason. We don't see the need. We think they are overreaching. We think they are just looking for an opportunity to spend money. We think that, you know, some hands are pulling strings uh, to get this project, you know, done. We don't, we don't see the need. She hint of a demonstration on Saturday, July 13, adding Parliament should be ready for more protest. On Tuesdays, we can then go and present, you know, the, just the leadership of the movement and go and present the petition to Parliament. We are hoping they listen to us, but if they don't, there will be more protests. I think Parliament doesn't, you know, hold us in high esteem the way that we hold them in high esteem. I think that they feel like they are the people at the top and we just have to listen to them. Meanwhile, Majority Leader Osei Chairman Sabunsu has been defending the move. When completed, the 450-seater chamber will be ICT compliant to accommodate future fiber optics expansion as well as prayer rooms and other essential services required in the building. It will replace the present 275-seater chamber refurbished in 2013 to accommodate more MPs. Selom Amenya, TV3 News, Accra.